This anime features an epic, well-liked, but occasionally problematic story, co-starring a tactical genius and morally questionable pretty boy, and the super athletic brunette that he befriends. This pretty boy is pretty much his brolic BFF's opposite in all the ways that matter. They meet when they're young and neither of them are ever the same afterwards. They're both just utterly lacking in healthy parental love or nurturing environment to grow up in. They even kill their male We'll say caretakers, since father is clearly the wrong word here. Hashtag daddy issues. So their friendship, loyalty, and devotion to one another become a major theme in the show and in their lives for the rest of the series. Pretty Boy grows into the charismatic leader of a violent, ragtag team and people just fall over themselves trying to help him follow his dreams. But even among their ever-growing group, Swole Bay becomes Pretty Boy's favorite weapon of mass destruction. Dark Ape Bay really likes taking orders from Pretty Boy and masochistically tends to put himself in harm's way. But what do you want to do? I do what Orca wants me to do. End a story. They spend a lot of the show's runtime fighting the good fight in a brutal war, and the body count is sky high. Soul BFF does most of the battling, while Pretty Boy Tactician does all of the thinking for both of them. They charge into said battle with memorable and consistent corporate branding. As the general of their army, Pretty Boy has an alarming disregard for human life but his swole friend is one of the only people whose safety actually matters to him. Despite all that, Dark Air Bay becomes a sacrificial lamb for Pretty Boy's ambition. The war they're fighting in and a lot of swole Bay's blood, sweat, and tears or body parts left on the dance floor are all pretty unnecessary and much of the conflict is to satisfy Pretty Boy's ego and Grandio's plans to rise above his station. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Battles are won and goals are met, and things go well for a while, but their romance is tested and the BFFs inevitably have some sort of falling out. Pretty Boy goes through a serious bout of depression, hashtag mood, and later Pretty Boy lashes out at his BFFs waifu of choice. He has nothing against the waifu, but he convinces himself this needs to be done. It's arguably one of the most effed up moments of the franchise. Pretty Boy gets himself hurt or killed. A moment of silence for arguably one of the saddest moments in the franchise. Despite whatever bad blood came between them, Swole Bay takes the news about as well as you'd expect. But thanks to some supernatural power, Pretty Boy makes a full recovery and is better than ever. After seeing him again, one has complicated feelings. Uh, damn you! The video you put us through! While the other is overjoyed. The order may be different, but each of these anime hits the same story beats. So which was your favorite? Feel free to tell me and others about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on more videos like this one.